Hello friends and welcome to the new home of Cane Rod Pipes. The new home of Cane Rod Pipes is about 10 feet away from the old home of Cane Rod Pipes, which was right over there. But uh, what I wanted to do was carve out a portion of my workshop, which is predominantly a woodworking shop, that I could use just for pipes. And uh, the reason was that I was kind of doing pipes on top of the woodworking and woodworking on top of pipes, and it just wasn't working out well. Uh, plus, you know, pipe work requires certain things that woodworking didn't and uh, you know I wanted to be able to get all those things together in one place. Added some lighting, you can see the, the shop is much brighter now. Uh, painted the walls, you can notice the, the white back there and uh, I'm really excited to announce that we are reopening the shop as of today. Uh, we will begin taking orders and uh, I'm really just happy to be back in business. So I'm going to take you on a little tour of the shop, kind of talk a little bit about what I did. Uh, but before I do that, I've got a couple of announcements I want to make. Uh, the first is that because this is sort of a grand reopening and we want to celebrate a bit. Um, hitting my tamper. By the way, I am uh, enjoying some pretty Thanksgiving Day. Uh, been enjoying the heck out of it this year. So, yeah, I wanted to make a couple of announcements. Uh, first off, because this is sort of a celebration, for the next 30 days, so one month beginning today, not the month of November, but the next 30 days, if you place an order with, with Cane Rod Pipes uh, for some pipe restoration work, uh, and you mention, in, in the contact form, you mention um, a YTPC uh, discount. Yeah, YTPC discount. I will take 10% uh, off the most expensive item on your, uh, your, your list. So feel free to take advantage of that, uh, it's a good deal. Uh, the, the web shop is, uh, I'll put links below, but it's www.canerodpipes.com. Uh, you can also get to it through canerodpiper.com. Uh, if you go to the website, I have a price list there, I have a contact form I prefer. If you're actually placing an order that you use the contact form, it helps me with bookkeeping. But if you just have a question or something, feel free to get in touch uh, at uh, canerodpiper at gmail.com. So, that's the first announcement. The second announcement, to sort of continue the celebration, is that I've decided I'm going to try to do a, uh, a live stream video on Saturday. Uh, I'm going to do this uh, Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm sorry, that's the best time that works for me and I think works for most people, but I know there's going to be folks that are excluded from that. We'll do another one at some point. Uh, I'm not going to do live streams all the time, but I thought it might be nice to do one just as something different, sort of have a QA. and a uh, You can ask questions about pipes, pipe repair, uh, restoration, me, whatever you want to ask questions about. So we'll see how that goes, Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. and. Uh, Check out canerodpipes.com, and if you got any need for pipe restoration, feel free to use the the discount code. Uh, that's that's uh, YTPC discount. Just mention that in the contact form when you're when you're uh, asking for a quote, and I will take five percent, ten percent off of the most expensive item on the uh, on the list. So with that, uh, how about I take you on a little bit of a tour and and explain what I've done here. So to begin with, guys, I'm going to show you a picture that I took of this same corner uh, back before I really started the work. There was a shelf here, uh, sort of a built-in shelf that the previous homeowners had made, and it sat there for the 20 years that I've been here collecting junk. Uh, at the time I took this picture, I had actually taken all the junk off. I wish I took one before, uh, just to give you an idea of how it, how it really looked. Uh, but you can see it's a dark, dingy, uh, damp corner of the basement. So we had our work cut out for us. Uh, what we've done uh, is we've installed some new LED lighting. You can see the walls have all been painted a uh, nice bright white. And we used the dry lock paint. This is the corner where there was quite a bit of dampness. And I really think between uh, plugging things up with hydraulic cement and uh, the dry lock paint, I think we've actually conquered that problem. So I'm happy about that, although I'm keeping things out of that direct corner until I'm, I can confirm it. Uh, we reclaimed a lot of the wood that was being used in that shelf to make this new uh, bench. And this bench is exclusively being used now for pipe work. So before I, I was working off of my old woodworking bench, but now I've got a 
bench just for pipes. Uh, the top is made out of the pine that was uh, comprising the shelves and the carcass structure is all made out of the, uh, the, the pine that was holding up the shelves. The drawers are actually made of plywood and the, that back shelf there is made of plywood. The drawers are very, put my pipe down here, the drawers are, are, are quite deep, quite ample. Um, I'm going to have plenty of storage over here. Uh, the top ones are a little bit more shallow and I've actually got a few things in here right now. Uh, I'm sort of planning to set the shop up organically so I don't want to uh, move everything in here. I'm going to kind of move things as I need them and place them where it makes sense. Uh, over here I've got um, made a couple of these trays that I'm going to be using to actually do the do the pipe work and this top drawer holds two of those trays plus I've got some plastic containers that I can use. Uh, this way if I'm working on more than one pipe at a time it's easy for me to separate them, segregate them. Uh, also this is where I'll be doing the, the videoing so you can see there's a camera there. That's the camera mount that I've fabricated for it. Uh, I only have it here right now to show you that that's where the camera will go. Most of the time I can just loosen this up and, and it pulls right out. So no need to have that there all the time. Uh, let's see. So starting from the end of the far end of the bench here, we've got um, my old vise that I use when, when I'm making stems. And this is a great vise. It, it uh, as you can see, swivels. I usually clamp a piece of wood in it, and this is just the stem that I put in there as a prop. But I can loosen this a bit. I can change the angle of the stem just by sliding the wood around. I can put this at different angles, and then lock it down, and it's it's rock solid. So I really uh, like using that vise uh, when I'm doing stem work. Uh, I've got a heat gun for bending stems. Uh, this is a little examination light, which is really quite nice because it, oh, I don't have it plugged in. But uh, you can see it's, it's a fairly good magnifier and that extra light is gonna be really nice for looking at scratches on stems and, and making sure that I'm, I've sanded to the right, uh, right level of uh, sheen before I buff. Uh, again, not a lot of stuff permanent on the bench yet because I'm still kind of working things out. I've got all of my um, dies here you know, various uh, types of dye, and the different chemicals that I use, you know, alcohol, Murphy's oil, soap, that sort of thing, some epoxy. Uh, and this is a little box that I made to hold the abernet, which is what I use now exclusively when I'm doing pipe work. Uh, and this ranges from 240 up to 600. And I find that when I uh, use those on a stem, I can go from the 600 abernet right to the buffing wheel and uh, get a beautiful shine. Uh, that's Thanksgiving Day. This is a little thing I made out of a cigar box and I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this or not, it, but it's uh, it's a nice way to sort of organize the stuff I use a lot. So different you know, bottles that I use for water or alcohol uh, or mineral oil, various probes and picks, some of the more common Dremel bits that I use some measuring tools, a big block of beeswax, you know, just stuff that you, you need to collect somewhere. Oh, and I, gotta, I, I usually keep one of these out on the bench, so I put a little magnet on there to hold it. And power outlet, because we need power. Uh, I've been working on trying to come up with a way to organize all of my reaming supplies. Uh, and I think I'm going to make some sort of a block that they'll just fit into and I can keep out here, because I, I use those a lot. and. It's just nice to have them easily accessible. And this is the block that I use when I'm uh, doing stem work. Uh, I had, on the other bench, I had dog holes, and this would sit into a dog hole. And I think I'm actually going to drill a dog hole in this bench for it, because it's, it's a real convenient way to, to keep that uh, very stable when it's in place, but be able to yank it away and get it out of the way when I don't need it. Um, and there's some other stem tools back there, mostly files, a file card. There's my uh, good files and a little box that I made that I need to redesign because I, I made it to stand up. The idea was I was going to attach it back. I don't know if you can see my hand. I was going to attach it back here, 
but when I do that I can't get the files out because they hit the, uh, the top of the shelf here. So for now they're just sitting there and I'll we'll have to come up with another design. That one's a little tight. So that's about it for the workbench really, but uh, I can tell you just having this, it, it's about six foot long, uh, actually it's exactly six foot long, just having this bench and knowing that the only thing that's going to be on this bench is, is pipe work is, is a great, great relief to me. Uh, it just makes life so much easier. And having all this storage uh, is, is also going to be great. I think There's uh, pipe cleaners and toothbrushes. <laughs> Those are the first things that I moved over. I use a lot of toothbrushes, and these are really cheap. I think I paid $12 for 144 of them. Uh, they're, they're reasonable toothbrushes. I mean, I would never want to use them uh, for anything other than cleaning. But the nice thing about it is I can pull one of these out, take it out of the wrapper, use it to you know scrub down a stem, whatever, and then throw it away. So if I'm working on your stem and then I move to somebody else's stem, they're getting a, a nice clean fresh brush every time. And pipe cleaners, I, I need to restock on those because that's actually not enough. I go through a lot of pipe cleaners. So plenty of storage. And then the other thing I did, which uh, is really exciting for me, is I got this bench. I was going to build a bench for the lathe. This is my uh, lathe that you've seen in videos before. I was going to build a bench here, uh, but I was like really over-engineering it, and I realized that I might as well buy something. I went back and forth with a couple of different possibilities, and it turns out this Harbor Freight bench, I got it with a coupon. Uh, it's regular, like $99. I got it for $72. Uh, if you go to, to the store and you shake this thing, it wiggles around like crazy because the people that put it together don't know what they're doing. If you put it together well, it's... It's really pretty darn solid. Uh, it's got some drawers, not the best in terms of the bottoms, but you can you could replace those. You know, it's it's um, hardboard. You could put like a half inch ply in those if you wanted to. Uh, maybe I'll do a video at some point about this bench because I really think there's a lot of value in this thing. Uh, for seventy two dollars, you you can't beat it. It's very solid. It's a perfect platform for the lathe, and this is you know dedicated to that lathe, which is pretty much dedicated to making pipe stems. Uh, so it's got you know, power on the side. There's I don't have it plugged in now, but there's a light up under here, which maybe you can see. Uh, and that's not a great light, it's a fluorescent, uh, but I will eventually replace that with an LED strip. And it's plenty of light between the overhead light and that. I, I can see just fine here. Uh, Got my quick change tools up there. I'll probably mount those on the pegboard at some point. Uh, different different oils that I use, and uh, this is a little container that I made, spill-proof container to hold uh, dish soap with some water in it, and that's ideal lubricant when you're drilling acrylic. Uh, really helps the drilling process quite a bit. So this is really everything that I've done so far. Uh, you can see the, the paint kind of ends right there. There's some remnants of my old dust collecting system, which I truncated right there. <laughs> uh, so there's there's a lot that still needs to be done here. I, like I said, I'm doing this in quarters. Uh, the paint that you see here going around to that window, halfway through the window there, that actually represents two gallons of dry lock. So, and that's not surprising. These were bare cinder blocks. Uh, the dry lock soaks up a lot of paint. So I do need to, uh, you know, paint the remainder of the basement. And as I do that, I'm, I'm moving from corner to corner, basically, and trying to do it in quarters. But this was the quarter that I needed to have complete for all the pipe work. The only thing missing here right now is I want to set up my, um, my wood lathe here next to the metal lathe. And also I've got a, a sander that I want to bring over that I use on stems sometimes. So those things will be brought over as I move along this wall and, and get more of this complete. But they're not very far away. I can I can still use them. And uh, yeah, we're we're ready to go. So folks, I, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, shop tour. I, I know it wasn't very much. 
doesn't seem like a lot of work, but it was. Uh, you know, it took quite a long time to get this corner cleaned out, to get these walls dry and painted, and, and to build the, the bench, and to get the lathe moved over it was also not trivial. You know, I had to disassemble a lot of it. It was, it was necessary. I, knew I wanted to oil, um, oil the gears and just give it a good cleaning. So, you know, this, this took quite a long time, and with life getting in the way, it took a lot longer than I wanted it to. So I thank you all for your patience uh, as the shop has been closed. I'm really looking forward to getting into some new project videos. Uh, I'm really looking forward to repairing some pipes for you all and uh, getting them back into service for you. So please remember, 10% off at Cane Rod Pipes if you mention YTPC discount for the next 30 days, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to attempt to do a live stream, and unless technical difficulties prevent me, I'll be talking to you then. So thank you all for watching, and as always, until we meet again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.